Today on the Point Blank Performance YouTube channel, we've got Casey's 20 plus L5P back. If you missed his truck, check out that link here. What were we doing? We were showing you guys a simple mounting solution to what? A fast fuel pump. It was our billet bracket. Couple bolts, slides right in, you're done. This is a continuing on video. So I need you to get it up to date on that video and let's start here. We asked you guys, do you want to see Uncle Tyson show you guys how to install our stage one low pressure fuel system? And I'll be damned you guys said yes, Joy Tyson. So guys, what we're gonna do, if you go to pointblankperformance.com, you go to LP, low pressure, and you've got a 20 plus, just like the truck behind me, I'm gonna install that for you today. And actually, it's already done. I did it on the ground. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you got a weekend to spare, you can get it done. This is an entire package. That means from the sump, to the hose, to the clamp, to the fast system, I package it all up, UPS is ran, or UPS has it ran. You're thinking about doing this. What do you need to do? Grab your phone, grab Tyson. We got the video here. We're gonna copy my exact work. It takes out all the guest game. You're gonna paste it onto your truck. And today we're gonna build a stage one low pressure fuel system. We've got Casey's 20 plus L5P on the four post rack. So therefore, you guys can see up close and personal of our stage one low pressure fuel system of how I done it. Now keep in mind, I did this on the ground so you can do it on the ground as well. You do not need a lift. Okay, so you just went to pointblankperformance.com and UPS is ran. You've got a bunch of parts in your stage one kit. I wanna go over them because you need to get prepped. Now to get to this point, what did we already do earlier in the video? Because this is a continuing on. I put the fast fuel pump on our billet bracket. All right, you're at that point. We opened our box, what do we have? In your box, you're gonna have 12 feet of black air dog rubber hose. This is more than enough hose to get fuel from the sump to the fast system. All right, you can build just like me. You're gonna have plenty of hose, but you can do it your way and that's fine. How are you gonna cut the hose? Cause you need to make a pretty cut so you can slide it over the bar. We're gonna get you up close and personal with my little buddy here, the hose cutter. There's a part number on it. You can order this guy, that way you're prepared. Okay, now you've got fittings in your kit, black vibrant fittings. You're gonna need an open end wrench, so therefore you can actually tighten these fittings up. Seven eighths. If you get one of those, you're ready for war, boys. Now, I just said we're gonna send out a bunch of barbs. There's an option on there that says CV boot clamps. Add those in my kit. Because if you look on the end of my fittings around the hose, you're gonna see like a little pretty stainless band. That band is to ensure the hose cannot come off the bar. When you push the hose over the bar, it shouldn't come off there. But if it does, you're gonna be on the side of the road, so this is just insurance. What's that tool? Phil, get close and personal on this guy. It's another blue point tool. All this is is a big pincher, so therefore you can pinch the CV boot clamp and that dude is locked on there and it's not going off. All right, we're almost ready to start our stage one low pressure build. Guys, YouTube has decided to run its own ads. I wanna make something clear to you guys, we do not get paid off YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, any of it. We do this because we're diesel enthusiasts and we love what we do. We ask this out of you guys. You wanna help support the channel because we took time out of our day because we're grateful to show you this stage one kit, go to the website, pointblankperformance.com, hop on there, get some merch, you can buy one. But hey, if you're like, I just like watching Tyson talk because sometimes he's illiterate and doesn't complete a sentence, then guess what? Just share the show. So guys, it's now time to start our stage one low pressure build. Let's go boys, let's go. Now we need to go over the anatomy of the fittings. Where the hell do they go so we can start our stage one low pressure build? Now this is the only time I'm gonna mention this. This is a stage one kit, meaning it will come with half inch hose. Half inch in my world means dash eight. That is the size of the fitting to accept the half inch hose. And we got that clear. I don't wanna confuse you guys. Your kit is a stage one, let's build. On the front side of the fast pump, I've identified 
I look directly up and I see T. T on a fast pump means I've got to get fuel from the tank because that's where it's pulling from, the sending unit, and from our sump. I pull from two places. I'm going to show you. On here, we have thread paste on a fitting. That fitting needs to be spun into the fast pump. Tighten it up all the way. Don't break it off. Tighten it up all the way. Then, this fitting directly connected onto it, tighten it on there, but only hand tight. Why only hand tight? Because we're going to have to push hoses on these and we may have to maneuver it. Okay, all fittings hand tight besides the one that have the paste on them. Now this is a T, so it's hand tight. On the top side of the T, we have a 45 degree angle fitting. Basically the one that looks like this, put it on there. On the bottom side, also put this 180 degree fitting on the bottom side. It has a big U in it. All right, that's simple. We've got this done. All these are hand tight and we're ready to proceed. If I went too fast, now's a good time to stop and relook at that. Now continue on. On the back side of the fast, we need to build that out. Here at the top, that is E for engine. E for engine means that is the push from the fast to the factory line. Okay, we got that down. You can also see there is another fitting with white paste on it. That needs to also be threaded into the fast pump all the way and tight because that will stay there for life. The fitting that comes out of it, put it on there hand tight only. It's another 45 degree angle fitting. At the bottom, this factory red fitting, leave that dude alone. That is factory from fast. Don't mess with it. Just put another 45 degree fitting on there. All right, we've got our fast prepped on the back side and on the front side. Now I just said we have to push fuel up to the factory engine. This line right here, you can look at it. It's the larger of the two lines. Put the plastic 90 degree, 90 degree is like this. Put the plastic 90 degree fitting on top of there. Don't have to snap it down all the way. Just put it there because we got to get routed. You look directly above the tank. Look up here. We send out a blue fitting because I'm pulling fuel from the tank. Go ahead and snap that blue fitting in there. We got to route some hoses to it and get to building. So now let's transfer down to our sump and check out the fittings we use to get fuel from there to our fast system. So now we're at the middle of our fuel tank. We already have our fuel sump drilled in place. Now if you're looking for an installation video of how to put a sump in a tank, how to drill it, check out this video here. Moving forward, where did specifically we put our fuel sump? There is a square pocket on the 20 plus L5 piece. We drilled directly in the middle of it with our hole saw and put our sump. Once you get the sump installed, there are four fittings that come with your stage one low pressure kit. The fittings that go into the sump, go ahead and get them tight. Make for sure the O-rings are on the back side of the fitting. There's an O-ring here and an O-ring here. There will also be two 45 degree angle fittings that will go on to the fittings that are in the sump. Put them on hand tight, why? Because now we're ready to start the adventure of routing our hoses to the fitting, then we can tighten everything up. Before we do that, one of the most important things, if you went to the website and purchased the CV boot clamps, make for sure you always slide the clamp over the hose because we had to pinch it onto the bar. So slide it on there, and then we can push it over the barb and then pinch it tight. But if you went to the website and you did not get those CV boot clamps, your hose installation will look exactly like this and is okay and is acceptable. Now we're ready to start routing our fuel hoses to our fast pump. Now I've got mine routed. We're going to pick one line and go with it. I did put one of our billet clamps in the frame, drilled it out, so therefore these lines aren't flopping around while he's driving down the road. And I will finish out the build with a PVP clamp right here, so therefore everything's nice, pretty, and signature. 
We're gonna start with our feed line from the sump and now we need to get it to the fast pump. We're gonna literally take our line as you're doing it, feed it into the sump, get that line tight. All the excess hose that you have, literally put it up over the top of the tank, start feeding it to the front of the fast. We just need to get it from here to the very front of the fast. Once that's done, let's go to that end of the hose and connect it to where it needs to go. Now our suction line is routed up over the fuel tank and we're on the front side of the fast, the T-port for suction. You can see my hose is here and I've got to connect it to the U-shape, the 180 fitting. Real slow, real easy. If this line is too long, because you have 12 feet of hose, if it's too long, cut it appropriately. Grab your hose clippers, cut it at the right length, I'm just going to take off a little bit here. You're going to slide it onto the barb. And if you have the CV boot fittings, make for sure, put the fitting on first, slide it over the top, and then pinch it down. But if not, then leave it alone. At the very top, you can see we have a line because we pull fuel from two spots, the sump and the factory tank, the sending unit. We're going to route a hose on the very top. I'm going to pull this one out for reference only. You need about that long of hose. You're going to push it on the 45. That's on the top of the T-fitting. Go ahead and connect it here. Route it to the back of the fast. Real easy, real clean. And push it onto the barb. It looks like a till fitting. Push it onto the barb. That will finish out the connection from here to the factory sending unit. Now what you can do at this time is take your seven inch wrench because this is done. We have completed the front side of the fast. Tighten up the fitting here, here, and here. That way, nothing leaks. Now we need to go to the back side of the fast and complete our return system line to the sump. This is the front of the sump here. We're gonna follow the same passageway as our feed line. I route them together as brothers and sisters. Over the top of the tank it goes, and the line will peek out right here. We're looking for the R on the fast. That means return. All right, we've got to get them two connections together. The same steps. If the line is too long, because we have our cutters, we cut it to length, because you got 12 feet of hose. Once we get this line where we want it, I go in, I cut it. Once it's cut, I take the fitting off the red fitting so therefore I can actually press it on. This is just for reference. Once it's pressed on to the hose, then a finished product is going to look just like this. The hose is pressed on. If you have the CV boot clamp, you'll go ahead and put that on there as well and you will tighten this guy up. And this is where you'll take the 7 inch wrench, put it on to the fitting, make for sure, give it a good tug so therefore it's tight. We're down to our last step of routing the hoses. Just directly above it, that's the engine port. We've got to build our hose from here to the front of the factory fuel line. Now we're down to our last fitting. We are at the engine port of the fast and we've got to get it to the factory feed line. You'll see this is a half inch line larger than the two that are just below it. We're going to snap our 90 degree fitting and we're gonna run a hose on the back side to our 45 here. Once we get that hose routed, just like this, we're gonna take a piece of hose, we're gonna route it on the back side of it. Once it peeks out here, connect it onto the 90, cut what length you need on the back side, back here at the back, and you're gonna undo this fitting at the top, E for engine, and we're gonna place them together. Today we've completed our stage one low pressure kit on Casey's 20 plus L5P. More specifically, you guys have done it and we're ready to make power. From the sump, to the fuel hoses, to the CV boot clamps, to the clamp that holds the hoses, and the billet bracket that holds the fast pump. This build is now fueled and ready to make power. Now guys, here at the shop, I do things my way. Doesn't mean it's always the best and easiest way for you guys on YouTube or anybody that purchases this product. Make for sure there's an easier, better way. 
jump in the comment on YouTube, let me know because it could help out someone else. And go, hey, Uncle Tyson, you had this wrong. I can do it this way. I'm cool with it, guys. Now, you've got this badass fuel system on your truck. Maybe you bought it because it has two filters and you're filtrationed up, you're good to go. But Casey's got it on his truck because he's D3 powered. That means our stage one low pressure kit paired with a 67 millimeter turbocharger, the Mod VGT gang, the 50% over injectors, the 12 millimeter Exergy high pressure fuel pump. This build is now fueled to kill and it's aired to make power. They rate these turbochargers at 800 brutal horsepower. This build has 35 inch tall tires. This is where you're gonna to wanna to like, subscribe to YouTube channel because the next time you see Casey's truck, we're on the Mustang Dino. Uncle Tyson's going for 750 rubble horsepower. It's either make or break it, guys. See you next time here at Point Blank Performance.